the Legion. What's that? Yeah, we're coming. I'm coming in. We got leaks all over the place. This is crazy. Look at all this water. At least it's on concrete. What is going on? Whoa. Hey, hello. Leaking right there too. Do you have any other leaks in here? Thought there was somebody in here. Sorry to bother you. Do you have leaks in here? Yes, sir. A little bit right here, huh? Yes, sir. It's not bad in here, though. It, uh, where else is it leaking? Well, this morning when I got back from the, my doctor's appointment, there was a water leak right in front. There was a puddle of water right in front hmm. here, and, the, and then also in the in the AC. It's, they still haven't fixed that for you. No, I told them to. Um, okay, so yours is yours is much better. Okay, um, I think I'm okay in here. I might be back. Thanks. Oh shoot, look at that. So we're on 201, or two, sorry, 209, and uh, seems to be coming from above, but it's a drain. It's a, that's a drain. It's wet back here, and I can hear the valve hissing, and there's water right here. See ya. It's a Simmons valve. I turned off the integral stops and it stopped the leak. I mean, I want to say it's likely cracked on the bottom there or something. I don't know. It's definitely a Simmons. So the guys, building manager, they went to the, uh, the garage to see if the leak stopped. He's gonna call me, so I'm just waiting. <clears throat> but that's gotta be it all right that solved the leak it's pretty amazing just that tiny little leak just that tiny little leak from that shower valve is what caused all of that it's still it's still dripping a little bit that's just residual but uh that's definitely it it's wild dude uh but i'll be back tomorrow to replace the shower valve All right, we're doing it from the back. We're doing it from the back. That's what she said. So we're draining the building down. We measured it out. Ooh, this is not good. Is it? No? Okay. All right, so we can't open it up from this side because behind this drywall, there's their shear panel, which is structural. So uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to do it in their unit, which is not a big problem for us because we can just punch open the drywall. Which 
I already did. Right here. So I know for a fact this is just drywall. So um, we we may have to we may have to remove all this because <clears throat> there's no way I'm doing this from the front. There's just there's just no way. Because I thought about cutting this, but it's not it's I don't know if you can see that. It would be I, I just yeah, I, I'm 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 not willing to try that. There's there's this and then there's drywall. So and it's pretty far back there with that. They still have the little plate on there. So <clears throat> we're just gonna have to pop this all out. I mean, I would say let's just do this whole side right here. But th this is just drywall. I literally I kicked that in the other day just so I could get my hand back there. So, all right. So here we are. We're behind the tub. Here's the valve. <clears throat> When I say that I couldn't have gotten it from the front, there's no way. There's literally no way. With all this, look at, look at all this nonsense. So. <clears throat> and there's two layers here. You have this, and then there's the uh, tub enclosure <sighs> okay so so what we need to do is I don't know okay so we're gonna we're gonna pipe it from here I'm gonna use Upinor and uh, how to take these vents out we're gonna use Upinor, I believe, uh, because if I do it in copper, it's gonna be much harder, and it's not gonna give it's not gonna give the 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 valve any rigidity. The rigidity is right here and right here. Because I mean, look look at this. There's there's no rigidity here. And uh, it's all plastic anyway, so I, I think we're gonna go with Upinor on this one. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna go one inch to half inch and, and adapt it to the valve, and then we'll put some slip couplings, top and bottom. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, it's a mess, but it's good. We got Upinor adapters. I just want to reiterate that if I would have tried to do it from the front, literally impossible. There's no possible way I could have done this from the front. So we're just cutting some copper right now. There you go. A little oopy action. All good. This is this is solid, dude. Because they have the little drop here. Here, this is that's solid. It's fine. Be all right. Nice. I know this doesn't look like much, but I'm in a tiny little enclave here. I don't even know what enclave means. It sounded right. Um. Now I got to put these vents back. Could you hand me that cast iron? I'm gonna start putting these back. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. We gotta cut this out just a little bit. But, uh, okay, I'm gonna turn the water. There you go, no leaks.